Hi, it's Brittany, and it's been a while. So the last time I actually sat down and talked to the camera and filmed something where I talked to the camera was actually last year, and I was brunette, so things have changed. Today I wanted to do a little update video over a cup of tea, so go and get yours, pause this video, and do a bit of a Q&A because I asked the people on Twitter to ask me questions. I am a very private person, to be honest. I, I do create content online, but the past year I've become very private. And I don't put everything up online, I don't put everything up on my blog, I don't blog about everything. So today I wanted to be more honest with you, I guess, because I appreciate honesty when it comes from someone else. And this is me getting super honest because I feel like I should tell you that I'm not feeling so rad. I haven't actually vlogged or YouTubed for two weeks. Um, reason being, some pretty bad stuff has been happening in my life and it's really hard when everyone around you is moving at lightning fast speed, doing exciting things, moving to different countries, getting great jobs and while I congratulate all these people, i.e. my friends, for doing great things like that. Um, it's really hard when you are stuck and you're standing still for the first time in a long time and you're not going anywhere Or at least it feels like you're not going anywhere and it's very emotionally taxing and just plain hard work <sighs> so For the past two weeks Okay, no, let's let's track back. So back in January I was Flying. I was as high as a kite. I was really happy and I didn't have a full-time job But didn't matter because I was so on top of my game and I was doing so many rad things and life was just really 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 good and Then on the 31st of January my auntie died She was 37 and she left behind three kids. They are aged two five and six and She was she was like my older sister because I was born when she was 17 and her kids were born when I was 17 and it was really cool. This was the auntie that I took to the Kirk's concert and it just baffled me how 18 days previous we had been dancing together at a concert and now she isn't alive. And I feel like my whole family is still in a state of shock because um, we just think that she's going to come home. We just think she's on holiday and she's not. She's not. Grief is a really interesting thing because it comes in waves, like some days I'll feel real good. Well, actually, I haven't felt real good in a while, which is why I haven't been vlogging or YouTubing. But some days you'll feel better and then suddenly something will change. My family Mirai and my Urupa, which is a grave site. What do you call those things? Oh, a graveyard, which is the graveyard is out in near Ragland, which is like half an hour, I guess, out of Hamilton, which is an hour away from Auckland. So my mum and I don't ever stay at the Mirai. Um, we always come back to Auckland because we have the dogs, the cats, all of our animals to feed and auntie's animals too. So we made the trip. Basically for an entire week, we would go from Auckland to the Marae and Raglan, back to Auckland, and we do that every day. I'm going to have been in Hamilton every weekend for the month of February, which is crazy! But, you know, that was emotionally taxing and it just so took it out of me. The rest of my energy was going towards keeping myself together or at least trying to get better and trying to help my family as much as I possibly could. And that's why I stopped vlogging and YouTubing. <laughs> as well as that, basically a bundle, a series of unfortunate events started to unfold around me. And that was because, um, because this major negative thing happened in my life. Um, I, and that was what was inside of me and that's what I was focusing on. A lot of negativity started to form around in my life and that materialized by way of negative events lots of bad things I lost caring about everything really and then I just thought at one point I thought I don't care about anything anymore and then 
I saw my dog and I was like, I care about her. And then I care about my family, so I do care about stuff. What really confused me when it comes to this blog and this YouTube channel, I didn't care because what Scouting Company is, is a place to inspire people and I wasn't feeling very inspired myself. And I didn't know how I could be this happy, vibrant person when something so bad was happening in my life. So I just stopped. I actually thought about giving up the whole online thing. I thought about stopping completely and just not coming back to the internet at all. Also, for the month of February, I had this thing planned. I had a full schedule of content called Hashtag Love Yourself February. And it was all about loving yourself for February because a lot of people get sad in February because they don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I'm like, I don't know, like it just doesn't make any sense to me right now because I believe you need to love yourself first. You can get everything you want from other people from inside of yourself. And this is in fact the first year that I felt really okay with being single because I love myself completely and my worth is not validated in someone else. I had a full schedule of content but then I decided skipping around and Valentine's Day themed outfits really... <laughs> well, I wasn't really feeling with it, wasn't vibing with it. Um, and I just didn't want to do it. Like, I don't even know if I want to make fashion videos anymore. Like, I didn't make many of them. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that is incredibly long. Let's get on to the Q&A now. If Josie asked, is blonde or brunette better? Brunette. But I do like being blonde. Blonde isn't my gold colour. It is true though that blondes do have more fun because they don't have to bleach the hell out of their hair to get a weird colour like brunettes do. And if Josie you're talking about what I find attractive in the male species, I think... I think I'm more attracted to brunettes. I, I can't actually think of an attractive blonde male. I can't, I can't think of a blonde male that I'm attracted to. I think I like, um, dirty... <laughs> Bear with me. I think I like... <laughs> I think I like dirty, dusky blondes. So like brunettes, but they're like... A light brunette, not dark brunette. Like, take from, take, take what you will from that. Take what you will. Georgina! <laughs> Georgina asked me, can I lick my nose? No, I can't, and I'm not gonna try. Oh, actually, no. George said, how does it feel to be rad? Um, and what would you do if you reached a million subs? I guess um, I'm really grateful for this, the audience that I have right now. I really, I am so grateful that you guys watch my videos. It makes me feel good. And I'm really glad that I get to connect with people all around the world. If I reached 1 million subs, that would be insane. Like, I can't even contemplate that right now, but it'd be cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Louise asked, who are your favorite YouTubers? Um, I don't have one particular YouTuber that I love more than the other. Hold on, I need some too. I have like, a collective group of YouTubers that I really love. So I love Ashley from Empower. I just think she's really cool. She makes really short videos, but they're really rad. It's to your girl. And I also like Castor and Pollux. Um, they're pretty cool. And Rachel from That Chic, who was in my January favorites video. And I also really like watching this YouTuber called Asina, Asina O'Neill. Chelsea asked me, what did I want to be when I grew up? So I'm assuming this means when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an actor. And then before that, I wanted to be a 007 spy. And before that, I wanted to be a vet. And before that, I think I wanted to be a ballerina. And at one point, I wanted to be an astronomer. So that's why I went to film school, because I actually wanted to act, but I wanted to learn the behind the scenes so I could be multi-skilled. And then, while I'm on this topic, Charlie said, what's your dream job? And I've been thinking about it lately, and I actually do think I want to get back into acting. So, yeah, I might start taking some classes or something. I don't know, I haven't acted in a long time because I put that dream down when I was back in high school when I went to the careers counsellor and they were like, you should know the perfect job. Tara asked, what's your favourite fashion item? And it's this purse thing. It's actually a travel wallet, but I use it as a purse because I think when you wear a black outfit, 
a puppy yellow. It looks really cool. It's got silver inside and you can put your passport there, which I don't carry around on the daily. But um, it's by Sita and I just think it's really nice. Phineas, Finnick, Finn, Finn Dingen asks, who inspires you and why? I am very inspired by my mum, if I'm honest. Just because uh, she does so well and I sh I've always been really inspired by her. Katie asked me how do you produce content consistently? Which I find kind of funny because I didn't produce content for two weeks straight. Very abruptly and <laughs> didn't tell anyone about it. Um, so I think you just make the time to produce the content you want to con create and you just make the time. You make an editorial calendar way in advance. Katie also asked me, how are you such a brilliant radiant lamp mermaid? Well, thank you. Um, I feel more brilliant and radiant since I reinvented myself and became a different person. But how you can be radiant and brilliant and rad is by loving yourself first and foremost, which can take a while, but if you decide that you want to love yourself, you can achieve it at a quick age. I feel very, I am very young to have found that already. Um, I would also say that learning the art of letting go really helps with things. A positive frame of mind can be really helpful too. And I've, I have so noticed that when I'm in a negative state of mind, I create a negative world around me. So it's better to be happy. And I'm gonna stop. I feel like this video is so long, so probably gonna stop asking, answering questions now, but I might do one of these later if you didn't get your question answered, I'm sorry, and if you have another question you can tweet it at me and I will do another video like this if you're interested. So thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me drinking some tea and I hope to see you guys around soon. We, I am by way of content creation, I'm just gonna play it by ear, see how it goes, I don't know. I might go ahead with love yourself if you might not, I don't know. If you guys have a rad day, tell me what you guys have been up to for the past few weeks and I will see you on the flip side. Bye! Stay rad! Like a dad!